I wanted to take a look at the monthly revenue data for Gotcha Games, Wuthering Waves, Genshin, AFK Journey. The Sensor Tower monthly revenue report in Gotcha Gaming. This is, of course, combined regions we're looking at, but it is mobile only, because I don't think they can track and publish all of the console's exclusive ones and or console breakdown. Either way, let's take a little look. Let's take a little look. We have Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact swapping, but both in first and second place. But what you want to notice here is that the amount of revenue that they made absolutely cut in half. So they were making about 230 mil a month together in April. That has cut down to, yeah, about 140,000, or sorry, 140 million, 135 million, something like that. Either way, that's still a huge amount, but it just goes to show. Honkai Star Rail, Genshin Impact, they've been knocked down, knocked down to like 140k or 140 mil from 230 to 140, almost halved. That's pretty wild. We have Naruto Mobile in third place. Holy, I had no idea Naruto Mobile slapped so hard. 46 mil, nice. We have Arknights in fourth place. I, yeah, okay. I knew Arknights was popular, but I'm assuming they had a sick drop event and like some sweet booba ladies that dropped and really horny uh, characters, okay. And so that's my idea of Arc Knights. Solo Leveling Arise came out and it looks to be doing really good at 39 mil, but that's month one. Usually they drop off right after. Love and Deep Space, that looks K-pop as hell. No thank you, but they're still killing it at 33 mil. Weathering Waves launched at 24 mil. I think that's pretty strong overall. They launched halfway through the month, I think. So that's, that's not too bad, right? Like, that's not too bad. I think at all. We'll see how they progress from there. Nikkei at 20 mil. Good job, good job. More booba characters, gotta love it. More rule 34 smut. Fate Grand Order, 19 mil. Then Monster Strike, Dragon Ball Legends, Puzzle and Dragons, and then AFK Journey. They hit 19 mil month one. Then they put it down to 12 mil because uh, they had season one shenanigans. They messed around a little too much, and then they were just kind of, you know, they, they fucked up. That's just what I can say there, and it is what it is. We have Reverse 1999, Dragon Ball Z, Doken Battle, Summoner Wars, and then going on we have Idolmaster, Uma Mutsume, One Piece Treasure Cruise, going up a lot. Blue Archive, Azure Lane. Hey, they went up a lot too, more booba characters. And then continuing on, we have a lot of normal stuff, right? Shizu Kaisen, Epic Seven, AFK Arena, still up there. Didn't realize they're still doing so well. Honkai Impact third down there. Not Hoyoverse's most popular game anymore or anything like that. Final Fantasy War of Visions, right? Dislight, still going, okay. I think that's an AFK Arena, AFK Journey, like that one of their games. Aether Gaze, Tower Fantasy, who hit a million, nice, not bad, yeah, these ones are just so tiny now, Girls Frontline is at 400,000, yeah, some of these are really small now, That's, this is mobile only, nice, Legend Clover, and Artery Gaze, Gaze, gear, yeah, so that's the current revenue report for gotcha games, everyone's just here to fight about their best gotcha game, Nice. <laughs> Everyone's just talking about talking about them. That Ark Knights jump holy. Yeah, they, they did it, man. Persona Persona 5X, the revenue tank pretty hard. Wrecked in China for whatever reason. Oh, didn't like it. Damn. Okay, Ark Knights. Okay, a lot of a lot of things jumped. Pretty good increase for Arknights, how many blade in the game? Uh, new overpowered operators, story is also getting good. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. We're gathered here today, more than our comrades. Lowest revenue for Genshin. Ooh, I've ever guessed. The upcoming Genshin month should be fire though. True, true, it's Farina for God's sake. Farina is the aftermath, first it's Chlorine and I'll hate them. Okay, the weapon and its banner. Filler banner of all time. Okay, we'll see then, we'll see next month. Shit's on fire, yo. Arknights, bro, we're winning. 
CN anniversary was peak. Arknights, what the fuck? Everyone's like, Arknights, what are you doing? Good job, I guess. Good job, good job. So, everything's doing okay. It's really up to Wuthering Waves in order to stay afloat. Everyone's like, Arknights, nice. But I, Wuthering Waves, let's check the actual release. It was May 17th, right? Oh no, May 22nd. So Wuthering Waves was only out for like a week and a bit. Shit, it's only been a week and a bit, damn. So you do need to remember that like, it might be that it only made 24 mil, but it made 24 mil in like nine days or yeah, nine days, 10 days or so. That's actually not bad at all. I know, like, Wuthering Waves looks low, but it's top 5, top 10, sorry. And it's only been a week. Solo Leveling Arise also killed it. But, the Solo Leveling Arise release date was <clears throat> March 18th. Okay, so they did have... Oh, March 18th. So, it's been out for other people long. But it was May 8th. IOS and stuff. Okay. Interesting. So they're all doing pretty good. Like, congrats and everything. Congrats. Didn't expect that. But yeah, it looks like everyone's like, noise, noise, noise. Well, let me know what you think, everybody. Cheers, cheers.